Yeah, hey folks, welcome back. Uh, welcome to the training, training lesson now. I'm gonna to talk to you here about why property investing actually makes sense if you wanna look after yourself and your financial future, okay? So if you've seen the welcome intro video, you would have seen that I spoke about the main strategy that people follow today is what we call the rat race, okay? So getting a house, having a 30 year mortgage, having a 30 year noose around your neck with the banks, keeping you in debt for your entire working life, and then you just gotta hope like hell you have some super. super. So I gave you the statistics on all that earlier on, but I'll just reiterate, it's around about 91.2% of people are gonna run out five to seven years after they retire, right? So if we're living longer, which most people are, um, I think for now women it's sort of living to around 82 and men, men are around about 78, 79. And with life expectancy increasing, that means your money's gonna have to last you longer. So if you've got a million bucks outside of super, which is the number that most people need, um, that's pretty much the target, but I'm gonna get onto that in the next video. What I wanna do now is just get really real with you, okay? There's idiots out there who are telling people, you know, I'll show you how to buy five properties in five years. I'll show you how to buy 10 properties in 10 years. I'll, I'll show you how to make millions of bucks in property. And then all this BS, right? It's, it's, it's all crap. I can tell you here what I'm here to teach you right now so you get it early. I'm gonna show you how to pay your house off faster. I'm gonna show you how to get your super and keep your super under control. But I'm gonna show you how to invest and just get one property that can make the difference to your life and your future. And depending on where you're at, you may look at a second, I don't know, but I'm not into this BS crap of making bucket loads of money, get rich quick and all that sort of garbage, right? If that's what you're after, then I'm sorry this isn't for you, okay? Best you flick off now, go and watch somebody else because there's plenty of those spruikers and crooks out there, okay? That's not what I'm about. I'm about helping you get your money under control, get your loan structure set up, get your house paid off and doing it the right way and doing it the smart way. And I'm gonna show you in the next couple of videos how to pull that off. But first of all, I wanna give you just a bit of a reality check, okay? I want you to get really, really clear on how have you been traveling financially from the day you started work up until today. So I've got this little ex exercise here on the uh, flip chart with me. So I want you to grab a piece of paper, grab an A4 piece of paper, use the calculator, you've got one in your phone probably, um, grab your phones out. I'm gonna give you a second or two here to do this, but I'm gonna show you how to calculate what your net worth is right now, okay? I've got an example already mapped up up here, so I'm gonna quickly run it out for you, okay? So the first thing you do is jot down how many years you've actually been working, okay? So if you started work at uh, 20 and you're now 40, you've been working for 20 years, okay? So 20 years. So however many years you've worked, write that down. Multiply the number of years that you worked by how many weeks you work per year. So the average person out there works 48 weeks a year. I know a lot of people don't even take holidays these days, but that's another story. But let's just stick to some basic numbers. So 20 years that you've worked, 48 weeks of the year, and on average, the average person out there is probably doing a minimum of 40. I see people working 50, 60, 70 hours a week, and I'm not counting um, traveling time to and from work, etc. So let's just keep it basic for now because you're gonna get a really good number here. So 20 years times 48 weeks times 40 hours means that so far this particular person has worked 38,400 hours of their life. Now, if you're in your 50s and stuff watching this video, chances are you've, you're up here working 50, 60, 70,000. The average person who works 45 to 47 years of their life will be working around about 92,400 hours, okay? So, that's 92,400 hours of your life that you're giving to someone else, making somebody else rich, right? That's crazy stuff. How would you like to get 10 years back and save yourself another 15 or 20,000 hours that you can spend for you, your family, your kids, your leisure? Well, if we can help you do this stuff and retire early, that's probably what you can do. So, you've got 38,400 hours. Here's the next thing you do. Add up all your assets. So the value of your home, the value of your super, that's probably what most people have got. Um, if you already do have a property, put that down as well. But whatever the value of your assets are, so in this example, I've just gone, look, this person here's got $800,000 in assets. Okay, so we've got 38,400 hours, 800,000 in assets. Now, tally up all your debts. So your mortgage, um, any loans, any credit cards, whatever it may be, add them up and work out how many debts you've got. So in this example, hope you're following along, I'm trying to go at a steady pace just to keep you with me here. 800,000 minus the 400,000 of debt means that this person, if they sold up everything, paid off all their debts, their net worth would be 400,000 right now after 20 years of, of working, okay, you with me? Got it. So here's what you do. You take the 400,000, 
you divide it by the 38,400, the number of hours you worked, and it'll give you a net hourly figure. And in this example, this person has worked 20 hours, 20 years, 38,400 hours for a net worth of $10.42 for every hour that person's worked. Now, I don't know what your number is, but unless you're doing really, really well, I'm presuming it's gonna be fairly low, okay? Now, the average person that I see, and I put a couple of thousand people through this here, through this exercise, the average person I see is around about $6.50, $7 per hour for every hour that they've worked during their entire working life up until whatever point it is. So, the question I ask you is this, is what you're doing working? Is what you're doing moving you closer to where you wanna go? Is what you're doing helping you get to the point where you can retire early, have your house paid off, spend time with your family and your kids? I'll guarantee you it's not, right? So that is a bit of an eye opener. I know it's a bit of a shocker for people. People probably go, oh, geez, I don't like the look of this. But I think you need a reality check, folks. I just call it as I say it, right? I'm not gonna sit here and talk bullshit to you. My coaches and mentors taught me this stuff so that I got the reality check that said, geez, you know what, I really need a kick in the backside here. Have a look what I'm doing. Have a look where my money's going. Look how ridiculous I'm being with money. And this is what was happening, okay? So the reality check really, really kicked in. And I thought, well, you know what, something's not working. There's got to be a better way. And the problem that I had was that um, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to do it. Now, the second thing I want to talk to you, now that you've got that, okay, and the strategy of paying off your house and having some super, keeping a 30 year noose around your neck is actually what's holding you back. Because I can guarantee you, if someone's living in this space over here and their net worth's down around here, seven, eight, nine, 10 bucks, I'll guarantee you, number one, their cash flow's not working properly. They don't know where their money's going. They're spending money week to week. They're living beyond their means. They've probably got credit card. They've got personal debt. They've got a whole range of things going on. But here's what I see is the biggest problem. Most people I know, most working families I know trying to live and get by have got no sort of plan, they've got no strategy, and they've got no concept of what to do and how to do it faster, right? Let me just give you a quick one here, okay? The average punter out there, the average male, is going to have 322,000, and the average female is going to have 180,000 in super. Okay, so the average male, 322,000, the average female, 180,000. Now, <clears throat> here's what people are telling me. They wanna live on 50 grand a week. Oh, sorry, 50,000 a year when they retire. Okay, so that's $1,000 a week, which is, you know, pretty basic. So if they've got, say, 500,000, 500K, they're gonna run out of money in 10 years. But here's what the biggest problem, here's the biggest problem I see. Let's say, for instance, this particular couple here, um, right now, uh, 45 years of age, and they're gonna wait over here until they get to say 67, because that's now the new retirement age, so 45 to 67. That means there's 22 years over here. Do you know, if they're projected to retire on 322,000 and 180,000, I'm gonna give you what the biggest problem is I see now with superannuation and having no control. In 20, 22 years from today, the cost of living has doubled because the cost of living doubles with inflation and CPI every 14 to 15 years in Australia. So that means their 500,000 here compared to here is now only worth 250 because the cost of living has doubled. So that means if they want to live on that $1,000 a week over here at 67, that means their money's going to last five years. Five years, folks, and they're out of money. This is what I want you to understand. Even worse, if they get towards their 60s, okay, and they're starting to move towards retirement, the stock market's changed, the economy's changed, the government's changed, the rules changed, the tax laws changed. You've got no control. You're not controlling the game. And that's what you need to understand, all right? That's my message. I'm gonna continually teach this to you. I'm gonna keep pushing it out to you. Go, you know what? We're sucked into the wrong game, folks. We're sucked into the wrong BS scheme. It's crap. It doesn't work, folks. You're not gonna make it financially unless you're doing something else. So let me just quickly show you this. Here's what I call a retire early property plan. Number one, get your own home over here and get the thing paid off. Make sure this thing is paid off and we can get this 
bad debt wiped out. Have your super, because your employees are tipping in for you and they're putting money in. You may even do a little bit of salary, salary sacrifice and a bit of little stuff there, just reduce a bit of tax, but that's another part of a strategy. But at least get one property, folks. If you've got one property, if you see me on the welcome video, my two mates that retired, I was 60 in 20, uh, 2008, if they had have only put, say, half of their money into super and had to put some over here into property and got seven, eight, nine, ten years of capital growth before they retired, they probably would have been, you know, four or five hundred thousand dollars better off and having more control because when the GFC hit and that's all they had over here, they're absolutely screwed because they're what I, they're what I call a sitting duck. They're a sitting duck. They're absolutely screwed. You've got no control. So here they were at 67 going, holy shit, I might go back to work. I don't know if you want that. I don't know if you want to work your entire life. Most people I see, there's wear and tear on the body. It doesn't matter what type of job you're in, you're gonna have some form of wear and tear, your back, your arms, your hands, your neck, your knees, it doesn't matter. Some part of your body's gonna pack in as we get older, right? So you don't wanna be getting stuck caught in what I call the rat race cycle, folks, all right? So it's really, really clear that you understand that. Um, and the way to go ahead and the way to do it faster is to find someone to teach and coach you and show you how to do this, set this up and structure it. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you a five step um, plan on how to start your property port pathway that helps you moving in, the, in that direction because there's certain little steps that you need to take. You know, it was like, um, you know, I went out and I learned to play golf years ago. And one of the things that happened to me was that I was out there trying to learn it on my own, right? So I read a book about the psychology of golf and the inner game of golf, and I learned these techniques around putting, chipping, short gaming, and how it could easily reduce. And I took my handicap from 19 to 17 because here's what happened. I found somebody who knew something. I found somebody with a strategy, found somebody who could teach me something that I didn't know. I took it, I used it, I learned it, and I applied it. Therefore, I got the same results. It's not that hard, folks. I've got to tell you, this isn't that hard. But if you've got it around the wrong way, you can make big mistakes. I had a tradie come in and see me one time. He, he, he was a plumber. He'd bought about, um, a townhouse off some developer dude out the other side of Melbourne. Anyway, the day he came in and see me, he got a phone call before our meeting. And, oh, da-da-da-da, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he sold a property. He said to the, oh, yeah, 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 sell it. I said, what's happening? He goes, oh, look, I bought this townhouse. I bought a couple of years ago off the plan. He was a dodgy developer, had problems with water. There was leakage in the building. There was defects in the building. The townhouse project was a disaster, right? And I forget what he paid for it now, but he sold it two years later and lost $100,000. 100,000 bucks, folks, because he went out on his own, tried to do it on his own, didn't know who he was working with, didn't know who he was dealing with, and therefore he come unstuck, and then he wanted to buy a property with me. I sent him away, I said, you gotta go and get your shit together for six months, mate, and then come back and see me, <laughs> which he did. But point being is this, the fast track to pull something like that off is to find the right people to teach you, okay? Now, I've been around this space for over 20 odd years. I've learned from some of the best mindset people on the planet, some of the best money and property coaches that you could see. So I'll talk more to you about that as we get into it. But for now, I mean, that's lesson two. I just sort of wanted to give you, you know, a bit of an overview of why property actually makes sense because if you're, if you're sitting there with that, the sitting duck, or you're here, you're now controlling the game, you're now gonna have a better chance to not only help you in your future, but you can also help set your kids up and get your kids into a better future as well, folks, okay? so. That's a lesson for today. Hope you've enjoyed that. Um, by, the, by all means, feel free. Look, try and qualify for a strategy call down here. Just click on the buttons that you see down here if you want to book in a 30-minute call with us. And we'll have a chat to you about your life, your situation, see if we can help you go a bit faster and do a bit better, okay? All right, I'm Tony, and I'll catch you again on the next training.